Hi guys, in this video we are going to look at Crew AI which is very comparable to Autogen but there are some features which makes it superior to Autogen and in this video we are going to run uh, the setup, run Crew AI and test it for ourselves. So this is a cutting edge framework for orchestration of role playing autonomous AI agents that can communicate with each other, get the job done request the other agent to do some work for them and get the inputs and continue working on the task that they were originally assigned to so why do we want to use the crew ai the power of ai collaboration has too much to offer the crew ai is designed to enable the ai agents to assume roles and you know, share goals and cooperate in a cohesive manner now to get started it's pretty simple if you look at the code uh, for example we did the installation here then we are setting up the crew crew in terms of uh, different agents so uh, for setting up a crew what do you need you need some agents you need some processes uh, that will guide the crew so if I open this in a new tab so we have these agents here and these agents follow some process to perform some tasks and we can from uh, form the crew with the help of these agents so for example we have an agent known as researcher here we have another agent known as writer here and these are the tasks that the researcher and writer needs to do and uh, this is the crew so the crew consists of agents we're going to look at the code uh, let's jump back to the code so what we did it was first do the installation and then we have this crew formation code here so we import from os and uh, we need the openai api key but as we know i'm not going to use this we are going to use a local model from olama uh, which you'll see in just a minute but this is your first agent his name is its name is researcher and we start up an instance of agent the role is the researcher goal is to discover new insights backstory you are a world-class researcher working on a major data science company verbose which means the, you want to output to be seen that is true and allow delegation is false so it is not allowed for delegation uh, uh, the default is kept as false now this is another agent which is the writer these are the tasks two tasks that the researcher and writer needs to do so this task is description is investigate the latest ai trends and agent is equal to researcher next agent is equal to the writer here so you can see the code uh, formation the authors have done a pretty good job to code the sequence in a, in a more in, in a very natural way so we have the agents here two agents here we created the task here and then we are going to create our crew so our crew we start an instance of crew here the so agents are two agents task is two tasks verbose is true which means that we let uh, you know which tasks are been worked on so you can see the outputs then process is equal to process dot sequential so right now only sequential process are being uh, coded and if you want to contribute feel free to join and contribute for more other complex tasks uh, for example a uh, parallel task then uh, you can get your crew to work by just saying crew dot kickoff so that's pretty good so we are going to use olama and we are going to use uh, open hermas for this now if you have been following my channel you know how to start up olama on your local server i am on my mac so i would go to olama.ai and then we are going to click download for os we download the installation file install that and then we will see that olama is running and you can see that icon on the top it says running now we're just going to open up a terminal sorry I'm going to open up a terminal and uh, let me open up a new terminal with profile maybe homebrew so uh, we say oh llama run open hermas so for the first time you're running this uh, the model will be downloaded about 5 gb of file and once the model is completed downloading it will start up the instance and you can do whatever the hell you want tell me a uh, joke why don't scientists trust atoms because they make everything okay 
so this is working open harmless is working now we can close this we don't need this so this was an older one i'm going to close this but we need to make sure that we have olama running here now after that we should be getting started uh, to do this so what we do is we go to my visual studio code and i select a folder somewhere to work and i name the folder as crew ai I'm going to open up a new file known as main.main1.py. So this main file I've been working on earlier, but I want to show you fresh in main1.py. And I want a new Conda environment. So let me see the list of environments that I have. So what is the code for that? Uh, Conda info dash dash envs. So this will give me all the environments, Conda environments that are existing on my system i'm going to create a new environment so how do you create we say conda create dash n and the name of the environment now i'm going to call it crew ai and i'm going to use python 3.11 this is going to start up the environment named crew ai and once it is started we are going to activate that so conda activate crew ai right i'm just gonna clear this okay so i have this fresh um environment crew ai and here we are going to go back and uh, install this so pip install crew ai so just gonna tell uh in the terminal pip install crew ai in the meantime while this is downloading and installing i'm going to copy the whole code from here and put it here okay so this is installed and i'm going to clear this so we have installed everything now let us look at the code okay so the first line is importing the operating system okay then from crew ai we import agent task crew and process okay so as you have seen this is the first agent the name is researcher its job is to research the next is the writer its job is to write these are the tasks for my agent so the first task one is investigate the latest ai trends and the agent is my researcher up here the next task is the writer blog post on ai advancement and the agent is a writer here this is my crew so the crew consists of two agents two task and process so the process is the sequential process for now it's just a sequential process now what we can do is as we want the local language model to be used so for that we need to put in this command so i'm going to copy this from the old code we can remove this open ai key because we don't need that so this is from langchain we are going to uh, import olama so as a matter of fact we need to install langchain as well so pip install langchain this is already satisfied it's done so uh, open olama open hermes and we're going to start an instance of olama the model is open hermes so this will call the model uh, open hermes and we can get started but another code that we need is this we need to pass the uh, the llm model that we're going to use so in the researcher uh we're going to use let's say here we're going to pass this llm on the writer as well uh, we can pass this and on the crew here we can uh, maybe pass it here so we say llm is equal to olama open hermes now this should do it this is going to use the olama open hermes from the olama installation that i have and hopefully this is uh, going to work so i'm going to save this and i'm going to start off the sequence so python main1.py just start the sequence let's wait for the result okay so the working agent the first is a researcher its task is to investigate the latest ai trends that's pretty great it is entering a new agent executor chain and uh, it has its thought so thought is do i need to use a tool yes action is conduct research on the latest ai trends then action impact let's wait for it now 
we are going to have uh, a thorough uh, reading of the outputs but what you can do now is uh, i want to introduce you to one of the projects that i'm going to start if you head over to the youtube channel and go to this first link which is the patreon link once you go to the patreon link uh, you will see uh, that i have started up uh, the patreon just today and what i am planning if you go to the about section here what i am planning um, to do in this new year is to build a telegram chatbot and monetize it so building a telegram chatbot and monetize it so i will bring up a video a detailed video on explaining the process of how i am planning to build that chatbot the chatbot will have the capabilities of text you know audio videos images i you know rags and whatever the latest developments in the ai that you have come across i'm gonna try to build uh, an interesting chatbot and if you want to follow on my journey of building a chatbot i'll share the code and everything so there will be a separate uh section or dedicated videos that i will create uh, just for patreon and uh, if you like this process if you want to follow along and code the entire process and the entire telegram bot with me i urge you to join the membership of patreon if not you want to make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you are notified with the latest advancements in the ai space let's move back to the code so this is done so first is entering the new uh, agent executor chain do i need a need to use the tool yes which tool conduct research on the latest ai trends oh, this is the action the action input is this the finished chain is this part then the other writer the writer starts do i need to use the tool no and this is the finished chain all of these has been possible with just the open source tool and crew ai now i think this should do it if you like this video please hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video where i would explain the telegram bot a bit as you join the membership uh, patreon have a nice day thank you so much for tuning in i'm back with more interesting videos